Hey guys, so in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the TPS on the Honda Civic. This is the D16. I believe these TPSs are on pretty much all the models in the 90s. So if your car's anywhere from like early 90s to 2000, you should have this TPS. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to check that you have bolts or if you have rivets here in the back. Now you can see here in mine that it has rivets. And now these can't actually be adjusted unless you cut a slit into them. So you have to take the throttle body off or remove this somehow unless you can get in here and cut a slit to undo them with a screwdriver. So if you have these, you can't actually adjust the TPS, but I'm going to show you how you can test it anyway to make sure that it's actually working correctly. So what you can do is test it and make sure that everything's fine. And then if you need to adjust it, you could pull it off and do so. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the first thing you need to do is put the key in the ignition and turn it on, but don't turn the engine on. So just turn the accessory on. Okay, then once the key's in the ignition and you've just turned the power on, you need to grab your multimeter and set it to 20 volts. So you can see there it's got 20 volts. That's the setting you want to use for this one. Okay, now if you come here, you'll see this. So this is the TPS. And there's the plug on it. This is the plug you'll be playing with. Now, you've got these three wires here. The red wire is the signal wire to the ECU. The yellow wire is the constant five volt, and the green wire is ground. So okay. basically, what you wanna do is grab the positive probe of the multimeter, and you wanna insert it into the red wire. Now, you probably won't be able to stick it all the way up the plug, so what I did is I just, because mine's quite pointy, I just jammed it into the wire and it touched it like that and you'll get a reading if you've done this correctly. So yeah, okay, some people might complain, yeah, you're poking the wire, it's not waterproof now, but honestly, uh, <laughs> you're not gonna have any issues there. So basically what you wanna do is make sure it's plugged into the TPS and then you wanna take the red, the positive probe of the multimeter and you wanna get it onto that red wire. So it can be a little bit tricky to get in there with it plugged in, but if you get it in there, you'll be able to do it. Just make sure that you're actually in the right one. You just need to angle it correctly and you'll get in there. And then, that should be in there. And then you wanna take, you wanna take the negative probe and just put that on the negative of the battery terminal. Just like that. And now, if you've done this correctly, you should be getting a reading. So mine's not showing a reading yet. So basically, I haven't got contact on the positive yet. So I'll just do that now. So once you've done this correctly, you'll have a reading on the multimeter and it should be around 0 0.5 volts. So you can see here, if I push this all the way to where it would be fully closed, it's 0 0.49. So that's exactly what you want on idle. So on idle, it should be around 0 0.5 volts. And then on wide open throttle, it should be 4.5. So you can see mine's 4.53. And basically, if you've got these two numbers correctly, then your TPS is set correctly and it's working right. So one other thing you wanna test is take the TPS and just run through the whole range slowly and just see if it smoothly changes the voltage all the way up and all the way down. So you can see mine is doing it correctly. There's no weird dead spots or anything like that, which means that it's working as it should. So if this is what yours is doing, then basically it's in the right place and everything is good, so you don't need to do anything. If it's not, then it's likely that you have an issue with the TPS. So that's basically it. That's how you test the TPS on the Honda Civic. We'll apply for the CRX and a few other models. I think Integra as well uses the same one. So I hope that was helpful. Catch you guys next time.